Of course, Liv Morgan lost because Becky Lynch. It was a really good match. Uh, uh, she lost because, once again, Becky held onto the ropes during a, a roll-up and, uh, and got the win that way. Where do you see this going forward for Liv Morgan? In terms of how they've built her up to this point, um, I've seen some people suggest uh, uh, on social media Charlotte would be a great uh, uh, fit for her over on SmackDown if they wanted to continue a push for Liv Morgan. It seems like the crowd is behind her. Bianca's got to be the person to take out Becky in the main event of WrestleMania next year yeah. on night one yeah. or not or night two. It's probably going to be uh, Roman on night two, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But certainly night yeah. one. So that's like two horsewomen, you know, on 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 consecutive manias that she's that she's toppled. Um, yeah. What about Liv Morgan? Where does she go from here? Well, the Bianca point, yes, yeah, that has to be the match. I feel like for Bianca, otherwise, if, if she never gets a chance to beat Becky, then the decision at SummerSlam is all the more baffling, you know? It really is. That that would make zero sense. It would be all for yeah. nothing. Bianca, they have to go all in. All in on Bianca. She's already mm-hmm. beat, let's see, she's beat Bailey. she's beat Sasha, She's uh right? She's beat both of them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. She's beat both of them. She beat Charlotte by DQ, I think. She does need, I would say that would be next on the agenda, would be Charlotte in a big money mania SummerSlam match or whatever. But Charlotte would yeah, have yeah. to be sort of next on that list. Yeah, after after she beats Becky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 As for Liv, you know, this this felt like an opportunity for Liv to show the fans and also I think, you know, uh, executives creative and WB that she belongs in, in the main event scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I think over the last three weeks, she's proven that she could, she could, uh, handle mm-hmm. that role and yeah. handle it fairly well. I thought her promo work the last two weeks was really good. Mm-hmm. I thought the match last night was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and if this is kind of her audition to, be elevated up to the next level in the women's division, then I think in, in that respect, she passed with flying colors. They have to um, like what they see, right? I mean, Vince exactly. has to look at and, this and be like, and, oh, people are behind her. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. People are behind her. So now, as far as what's next, I don't know if there's an obvious... It would seem Sasha and Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's title would be the match for Mania. Mm-hmm. But if they want to do something where... I mean, I don't know how they would motivate it almost because say Liv wins the Rumble. Just, mm-hmm. You'd think, okay, well, she'd want to go after Becky again. That mm-hmm. would make the most sense. Mm-hmm. But they kind of have to do Bianca Becky. So if, if Liv were to win the Rumble, how would you motivate her saying, all right, I'm going to go after Charlotte rather than I'm going to go after Becky again, you know? Yeah, no, no, I, I get that. I know. I, I, I think that, yeah. I mean, Sasha Charlotte kind of writes itself. Um, Bianca, I, I think Bianca's got to win that rumble. I mean, still, it's funny. Cause even, even I, by the way, Bianca and Dewdrop had a hell of a match. That was just, a fun match. Just take really away good. that finish. That was a hell of a match. And I love that they teased Bianca hitting the KOD on her. And then they obviously yeah. didn't deliver because they're going to do it next time. Maybe See, I did. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mind the finish cause it's advancing the story. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't mind exactly. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't mind the finish but I'm saying, you know, in terms of like, an actual full on affair mm-hmm. match, you know, it's like once once Bianca hits that KOD on on Dewdrop, feud that's over. gonna man feud over, and that crowd's yeah. gonna go nuts for that. That's a that's a big big moment. But you're just building up Bianca in, in, in decent feuds until she gets. I think she's probably gonna end up winning the Rumble. Sasha and Charlotte writes itself. There's your two Mania yeah. matches. In the meantime, I mean, man, if WWE had a mid card for for women. I mean, how would you not? I mean, that would be lives for the take, and I would think, you know, mm-hmm. I wish they would either do something. They don't do anything. I know Zelina and Carmella, I both really, really like, and I think the women's tag titles are great, but there's no division there. Um, and it's really just being motivated. They're just motivating a thing now with with sort of Nikki on her own. Um, I, I wish that there was a women's mid card title because I think that'd be great for hell, even two, one for each brand. Um, yeah, no, because you could pro- they would probably just find more motivation to to use the women in you know better stories if they had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, yeah, in terms of short term, I don't know where this. I you mean, know, maybe have, maybe it's have a situ- rematch, right? And then Becky will just win clean. <sighs> Live and Becky, I mean. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You'd, you'd expect there to be a rematch as far as Becky winning clean. I guess she could bend the rules in some other way to get the win. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, after two losses, um, you know, she can say, Liv, well, what grounds do you have to demand another match? I already beat you twice. Yeah, yeah, that could be. And yeah. then they can go on the story, you know, if they take their time with it with Liv, say maybe after Becky drops the belt to Bianca, then Liv gets her win over Becky, and that's what really catapults her to the next level. Put him in a steel cage. That's what you should do. Put him in a steel cage at day one. And then okay. I mean, because the steel steel cage is perfect for a heel win. You know, it's like you can there's yeah. any number of ways you can win. It's not really cheating because it's like no DQ or whatever. And and no one and conceivably no one gets pinned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 